okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing back-to-back -back Red Dead Redemption videos. Well, uh, I did do some recording, and it turned out that I recorded two missions, and I might as well just edit them out. This one involves a stranger in Rhodes. He is a doctor, and his medical wagon was stolen. And, of course, Mr. Morgan is going to retrieve it, though it's kind of difficult. The mission is called No Good Deed. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. It's gonna be a long ride to Macomb's, and so I'm gonna do the fast forward thing. Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Up with it, ain't it? You tell your friend we gonna pay him a visit. I know what you about, Darcy lover. Go. Okay, so um, I'm outgunned and outmatched. I'm guessing I'm going to have to use a rifle, and yeah, try and fight at a distance. So let's see how things work out and if things go as planned here.
Okay, most of the guys are down, and I'm trying to locate these other guys. They keep popping up and disappearing on the map, and it's kind of frustrating. I mean, I took a health potion, and so let's see. They keep shooting at me, and they're out of sight somewhere. You can see the doctor's wagon. I may have to circle around somehow, but the doctor's wagon is there, and they're behind it. So I guess I'm going to have to circle around a little bit here. Okay, I kind of figured out they were on the pier around here somewhere, and they're shooting. You can see the horses and the wagon. Yeah, these guys... There they are, they're on the pier, and I can take them down real easy with this rifle. So the carbine, I'm actually using the bolt action, so there we go, they're done. I'll go. Before you return the doctor's wagon, walk around and loot the bodies. You have plenty of time, there's going to be no witnesses. And you might as well get something for the effort. Well, with the looting done, it's time to take Dr. Renard up's wagon. Renaud's wagon. Yeah, Dr. Renaud's wagon back to him. And guess what? This ain't going to work out quite well. Okay, you're set upon by some friends of the guys you just killed as you're trying to ride the wagon back to Dr. Renaud. And yeah, you can end up dead quickly because you don't have a great chance to react. You kind of want to shoot them before they get to the wagon. And yeah. It can be a lot of problems. The law was alerted, so mission failed, yet I was further enough along to where it started me out at a different checkpoint. So let's get this wagon back to Dr. Renaud, and hopefully nothing else bad will happen. Do you know horses don't have a reverse gear? They don't walk backwards?
Isn't that interesting? I think most four-legged animals don't walk backwards. But I digress. Wreck the wagon, but now I was at a good checkpoint, and let's bring it back to Dr. Renaud. Look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bully and clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. And there you have it. What the doctor has given to you is a health care potion and how to make it. It might help you out. You need ginseng, yarrow, and English mace or milkweed. But... Yeah, you can make your own health care potions. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you like this type of video, well, I post four a week. And you don't want to miss out. So hit that subscribe button and bell icon. As always. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.